What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and today I want to do a quick video on how to create a playbook in NCAA Football 06. Now in my store I have several books on offenses that require you to create a playbook in order to run that offense. Well I've been getting this question lately so I thought it was a good idea to create this video to show you the process of how all that works. And at the very end I'm going to briefly talk about how the formations and plays are structured in this particular game. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new profile. Here we are at the main screen and at the bottom right we got a few options. Well circle it says profile so we're going to select that and the way profiles work in this game is it's pretty much your own account. It keeps track of all your stats, your records, pretty much anything you touch in this game as long as you have that active profile going it's going to keep track of all that. Now there's nothing wrong with sticking with one profile the entire time you play 06. But me being a playbook nut, I can't do that. With profiles, you can only have one playbook per profile. So I like to have a bunch of playbooks on me at all times, just so I can switch back and forth and do some practice and such. So what we're going to do is create a new profile. We're going to select this option. And it may ask you, depending on if this is the first time you've ever played 06, but if you got multiple profiles in the game, it's going to ask you to switch out one because it can only handle two profiles at once. We're going to select this one, and it'll ask you to save the old profile. I'm not going to do that. We're going to select no. And here you just put in the name of the profile that you want. I think you have a max of seven characters to choose from. What I normally do is I name these based off the type of offense I'm running. But you can name these however you wish. For the, the purposes of this video, we'll go ahead and just uh, name it as such. So I'm going to go ahead and select Done. And now it is our active profile. I can go up here, select that, and it, that'll be become the active profile. But we're going to select this one. And the next thing we're going to do is actually create a playbook. So here we are back in the main screen. We're going to select Game Features, and we're going to select Playbooks and Audibles. Now I... I'm not going to cover audibles today. That's just a separate thing all to itself. But we are going to select the playbooks option. And it says before you can create a custom playbook, you need to choose a team's playbook to start with. Press circle to choose a team's playbook. Now, this is a list of every single playbook in the game. This very first one, team specific, that is related to your favorite team that you have in your settings. I think I have mine set as Duke. So if I selected that, it's going to give me the Duke playbook. But it's got everything in alphabetical order. And at the very bottom, you got some generic playbooks. I think up to six, perhaps. You look down here, we got West Coast, Option Run, Balance Run, Run and Gun, Pass Heavy, and Balance Pass. So we are going to select the very first one. We're going to go with the Air Force playbook. And I'm going to show you why here in a little bit. So here is the Air Force playbook. You got nine formations. Every single playbook in the game has exactly nine formations. Treat these as slots. So when you go down here, this is the fifth slot, the sixth slot. Now I'm OCD. I like to have my formations in certain order. And we're going to go up to the very top and talk about that. At the very top, we're going to select Flexbone Normal. We're going to select that. And now we can select another formation to put in its place. Okay, now you notice over here, slot number two is flex bone tight. You cannot put a second flex bone tight in there. Why would you? So you're not going to have any of these other ones available over here. Now, the reason why I bring that up is because you may want to put these things in certain uh, spots or certain slots, I should say. For example, what if I don't want flex bone normal in slot number one? I want to put it in slot number five. So well, here's what you got to do you got to go to flex bone normal. You got to replace it with just something else. It doesn't matter. And then you got to go down to slot five and put in Flexbone Normal. Okay, so the reason why I bring up the Air Force playbook is because you notice how Flexbone heavy it is. It has all six uh, Flexbone formations. Of course, I just took one out. Now, if you were going to select a, an offense, create one that has no hardly any Flexbone in it, I suggest you select the Air Force playbook so you can quickly put in which formations you need. So, for example, if I want to do nothing but shotgun, it's going to be much quicker for me to select all the shotgun formations since there isn't any shotgun formations listed already. So I can go select this one and I can go right to the shotgun stuff, start putting stuff in much quicker. Okay, But if I was doing nothing but flex bone and I didn't like this order, I suggest you go ahead and select a different 
playbook. So you notice down here it says choose playbook. I selected circle and it says save audibles and formations for new profile will be lost. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And that's going to bring up the playbook list again. So if I want to do a Flexbone playbook and I want them in a specific order, I'll probably go with Akron. Now look, no Flexbone in it whatsoever. Now I can quickly put in, hey, I'm OCD. I got to put in Flexbone wide right here. I need to put in another one. Maybe I want to put in Flexbone tight or what have you. So that's just something to think about. If, uh, for example, you don't want a whole lot of shotgun in your playbook, you may want to go ahead and select like the Florida playbook. You go to that one, it's one of the two playbooks in the game where it's got nothing but shotgun. If you're going to do nothing but shotgun and you don't like this order, don't pick the Florida playbook. Now, there's nothing wrong with doing that. It's just going to take you a little while to switch things around. But if I was going to do nothing but under center stuff, I would probably select the Florida playbook, and then I can quickly go to whatever uh, under center formation I want to put in slot one and so on and so forth. And once you're done with that, you can just select save changes and you're kind of good to go. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the plays themselves. I think people are getting a little confused about kind of what's available in those six. I just want to clear this up. And I did mention this at the top of my NCAA football 06 uh, playlist or play images. And I have a link in the description below. For example, here we have Ace Normal. There are like over 70 playbooks in the game that has Ace Normal. Every single playbook that has Ace Normal has the exact same plays. Every formation in the game has exactly 18 plays. So Ace Normal, there are literally only 18 plays in that formation. So don't feel like you're going to miss out on anything if you select one playbook that's got Ace Normal, then you go over to another one with Ace Normal and think they may have different plays. That's when you start getting into playing like NCAA Football 07. That's when things get a lot more detailed and such. But with 06, it's very basic. So anytime you come across a playbook that's got Ace Normal, you will have those exact 18 plays, nothing more and nothing less. All right, hopefully this was helpful. I'm going to start using this uh, video for future projects, which I'm really excited about. But at least now you know how the process works of creating a playbook. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.